All right, we're going to do a Lucy, a schnauzer, parent assist today. Okay. And just keep, don't let her jump off. All right. And we're just going to see how Lucy does with mom's assistance here. We're going to do short all over, so I don't have to see Lucy very often. We're going to do short summer cut. Move up to the front here, two hands on the head, just there. No high-pitched voice. Hey, none of that. Just go, good girl. Good. You can keep, keep it monotone. Oh. Sometimes. Might not even need these hot dogs, but. So I don't really do the food, because food and hair don't mix, do they? No. No, see, food and hair don't mix, but we got some hot dog treats, and this is our, this is our, what is it our called? Our special treat. Yeah, our special treat, okay. <laughs> so here you go. This is something to look forward to, okay? If we do a Ziploc, I can hang them up. Okay. You know, that's the only reason I said that, but you might find we don't need them at all. Hey. So now you gotta be ready, right? I want you to say, I want you to whisper the word no over and over. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She has some really raw red skin, so I'm actually not gonna go. I wish I could, didn't have to. Let me try a seven. It's really raw. Mm -hmm. pretty short here, but mom, do you see this rawness I'm talking about here? Can you see? Yeah, she's always had, she's the always had that. Yeah. Okay. I might go seven reverse then and try that instead of a ten down. Let me just try. Okay. Okay. Just don't ever let your guard down, okay? Just be really ready up there, Mom. It'll be a sudden and you can't react kind of situation. Pretty fast. Lucy Be Lucy Bean. Okay, I got that. I heard that. Lucy Bean. Okay. Hey, Lucy Bean. I'm actually doing. If you haven't noticed on the camera here, you guys, I'm actually doing a, a slight pattern here. You're not gonna be able to tell and start till it starts actually growing out. But it's a seven reverse, and I don't. I'm not trying to draw a line. It's ending up that way. I'm just trying to move quickly. Uh, uh, uh. I don't know. I don't know. Just under the belt, Dave. Nothing's hurting her. She's very particular about it. Okay. Maybe people are doing okay. It's okay. I know. You got mats under there. You got to focus front. Come Just here. do me. Mom, don't let go. Okay? She's going to fight. Don't let go for me. Okay, Just here. watch your own face, though. Let's see. Let's see. Just don't let go. I'm going to put my whole body in here. Okay. Just don't let go. She'll be fine. So I'm putting my hand un under her so she can sit and I can reach around with my other hand and actually hold her tail up and shave at the same time. Some dogs act like that when a groomer has gone in and did anal glands a lot and anal glands weren't necessary. Like every bath, okay, they'll do an anal gland without asking you, they just do it. 
So now the dog is like, oh my gosh, what are you doing back there? Because it's pretty painful. Okay? Not all dogs need an anal gland expression, but most places do it that are groomers just because that's just industry, which can cause a problem like that, like sensitivity in that area. You can imagine. So we're good, see? See? We just had to get those, there's a little poopy stuff back there. Okay, we had to get that out. Don't put your guard down. Don't get mad. Don't get mad. I'm not going to touch your feet yet. I'm just moving this foot here to get to this other leg. Okay, stand up. I'm not messing with your feet yet. I'm just doing the top of your legs and your feet on the top. Okay. Okay, don't get mad. I know you're going to get mad, I think, when I do your feet. So just chill. I'm not doing your feet yet. This side go under here. You know, I'm leaving what I think is going to be a tough part up here last. <laughs> yeah. Leaving that for the last. Okay. Okay. Get ready, Mom. Be ready. Watch out for me and yourself. Okay. Okay. No, I'm not messing with your feet yet. Okay. I'm not going there yet. I'm mm -hmm. going to do your arms first. Okay? Okay. You're okay. You're okay. We're going to do your arms first. Okay, little by little, mm -hmm. little by little stuff.
Just your arms here. Okay. Just your arms. Let me see. Okay. I know. Top of your feet here. Top of your feet. Come on, girl. What you gotta do this? It's okay. It's okay, girl. It's fine. Don't let go. Let me see. Let me see. So worried. I understand though. I can imagine where you've been and what's happened. I'm here. I'm here to help you out, okay? I, gotta, I know you're not gonna trust me today. Maybe next time. Stay there. You know I'm gonna have to come back and get in there, right? It's okay. I'm over here. Don't let go, Mom. Just your arm. Nothing's happening. I know. I know. Okay. Okay. Let's see what we're at here. It's just the trash. Hey, forward. Don't trust her. Okay. She's sweet at home, but right now during this stuff, she will bite me. Bad. You want to switch out with Dad? Just grab it up. Okay. I hear ya. So all this other stuff, I'm trying to talk to you and the camera. Some of this stuff, flurry stuff, I'm not gonna, I'm not right trying to be picky. The haircuts there, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. As we start to kind of go into what's really important here, we might go, okay, we saved some energy for the fighting part. So we're going to try a couple different things first, and then uh, one of the homework assignments I might have you do, we might do that hold, and then if that's the case, I might have Dad come in and teach you both the hold, so you guys can do the hold at home, so then when you come in again, we're in a different place with the legs and the feet. Kind of like rehabilitation, okay? We just, we just have to, I'm the groomer that's not going to hit the vein on the nails, and I'm not going to nick her or anything like that, so that's why we'll have to do a couple different things to kind of get her prepared so she can be more relaxed here next time. I'm saying that because I think I know what I'm going to do already. I'm just going to, we're going to try to do the pads without laying her down, but if we go that route, I'll just, Dad's right in the lobby, so we'll call him over. Okay. So he can have the muscle part of everything, right? Just a tab. There you go. Are you ready? Are you ready for a little punch back? Okay, what are you thinking on the face? Um, I mean, we want to try to do the schnauzer face situation? Yeah. Okay, okay. So, um, kind of, yeah, now I'm going to try to need her, yeah, something like that. I'm going to work around here. I need her here, here. There you go. Be ready. She will bite. I don't want to muzzle her yet. She's not really trying to be angry. But just be ready. Hey, 
Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna muzzle her. Because you can see how quick she can move. And I don't want to get bit. And I don't want you to get bit either. So this ear hair actually needs to be pulled out. I don't know if she's gonna let us love to do that. <laughs> You're shaking your head. No, yeah. tell me something. She'll she'll bite. Okay. Do you th can you see the debris it's holding on to though? The nastiness yeah. it is. Okay. I mean we can try, but really we've been just um, trying to clip it out. Yep. So I'm gonna clip most of what I can in my face, and then I'm actually gonna come back and we're gonna give it a whirl. We may do it now, we may do it with parent, dad, yeah. okay? We'll see. That's what your dad's for. I'm gonna try to save most of the muscle, hard muscle stuff for dad. <laughs> All right, now don't forget, you got, you're got you looking forward to this, okay? Mmm. Mm. Mm. Hot dogs. Mmm. Never get hot dogs. Mmm. Mm. Hey, no, no, no. So scary. Mm. 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 No. Uh, no, no. Lucy. I'm not biting, man. Not even doing anything. Okay. Okay. Not even doing anything. You're going to end up with a mohawk or something. Okay. Dangerous, right? Because it's so fast. Yeah. Um, and there's tools involved. Okay, ready? Okay. You be ready, Mom. Here's the whipping. Ready? Hey. Or no. Do the whispering no thing I said. No. Lucy. Over and over. No. 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 Honey. No. Lucy. No. 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 Okay. All right. All right. I feel you on that. I feel you. I know you don't want to do this. I know you don't want to do it. I'm not going to like this. So do you think, oh, my ears might be infected, too. Yeah, we do battle constant infections. And that's because that ear hair, I'm telling you, man, that ear hair sitting in there, you saw the yellow gunk and all that? If we don't get the ear hair out, you'll constantly keep battling that. Schnauzers are not known for ear trauma ear infections. Like, over and over. They're not known for that. Cocker Spaniels are. You got to let people groom you. Um, let me see here. Well, that's the thing. I don't think groomers have been very consistent with the plucking. I sure. think they've been doing yep. more just the shape. Which out there, uh, even on my YouTube channel, people are like, "We don't. I can't never do that. I don't want to. You know, it's not about wanting. It's, it must happen or you're running into where if the ears are infected, it's very painful. And then you've got someone like me that's, I'm going to clean it. You know what I mean? Like, we are going to do it. We must. Um, on the face here, are you wanting to try to leave eyebrows? And I know you guys kind of got some here. <laughs> Um, we like to leave her eyelashes as much okay. as possible. She's got gorgeous eyelashes. We like the eyelashes. But, um, you know, we just try not to do the, the too severe schnauz or eyebrows. No, not too severe? Yeah. Okay. Now, let me see. Okay. I'm going to have you scoot over and okay. let me come into this front here with the muzzle on. And you can still be around. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to come in this way. She might be just fine for the head and face. It's the ears the legs and later when we get to probably the pads yeah um, we've never been able to do the pads all that well that's more just a technique thing that we don't know how to do we're going to start this over okay oh yeah do whatever this you right here do. the eyebrows i'm going to start them over i'll try to leave these lashes but the reason I don't like lashes is I believe it makes the eyes water more. Okay. So if you find her eyes are watering more, just say, you know what, they're pretty, but let's just go ahead and remove them. Okay, if you see her eyes are watering a lot, okay? okay. I'm actually drawing my line here with my clippers here instead of scissors at this point, because I'm just here. What's this? I'll just take that off. 
She's going to take that little tangled mat and that, and that thing off. Okay. Good girl. Can trade them off like that. Okay. Let me come back through. Um, hmm. I'm be pretty good with them. So much better. We're going to do beady eyebrows. Start them over so that they're even. Go this way. She wants the lashes, but it's kind of it could be dangerous. So we'll just see what we can do here. She's good for the face. I'm telling you, some other stuff happened already before. I'm going to go ahead and go a little shorter to even it up with this one over here. And then the next time they come in, we'll shape it up more. Now, this eyelash, if you look, is longer than that one. Do you want me to leave this one alone and you grow out this one? Um, no, make them even. Make them even, yeah. okay. Because I've had some wispy ones, okay, and they are really pretty. Just watch the drooling of the eyes. If it's a, you know what I mean, right? But we're not, I'm not seeing a lot of that here. But as she gets older, things might change. Oh, you're, you're so, so sweet. I'm so sorry. I don't know what happened. Where have you been? Oh, why did it take so long for you to get here? All right, so I know exactly what we're going to do with her feet. And okay. I'm not even going to, we're not going to try to stress her out and try different things. We're just going to go straight to what we need to do. Am I doing bath and everything today? Um. Or did we talk to, because I talked to so many people, are we doing no bath? Oh, I have no idea what okay. we're going to talk about. Great, so we're going to do the full package. All right. Dad, you're pretty tall. Will you come back here? Are you going to attempt to do pads and stuff at home at all? Um, we've tried. We just don't have the technique. Okay, so one thing I'm going to do is we're going to do two things. One, I'm going to show you the homework I want you to do daily at home. Dad, no laughing. Okay. Don't, don't, don't. Energy must be real. This is not game. Okay, she's going to read you. Okay, so just let me just... Okay. We can laugh later. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to show you the lay down technique. I'm going to let you do it twice. And then we're not going to do it that way on the nail trim. And um, there's another thing we're going to do is, I'm going to sweep this off. We're going to do the lay down together. So we're going to lay her down on the table. If in the lay down position, even by myself, and you'll watch another video, uh, two clients before you guys today, same thing. That's how the bed does her nails. Laying down? Okay. Sideways, so, yeah. So laying down sideways. Yeah. Yes. Perfect. She's still so, how to get her there is the most important, and how to keep her there is the only way someone else can work on her. You can walk in there and be like, boom, go ahead, vet, and you'll be like, I learned it from Dee Dee, and now I got it down, and now the vet can just do whatever they need to do, and you're in control, okay? Gotcha. The arm on the table, if I go this way or that way, the arm on the table is the only thing that keeps her down. So if I let go of that, she pulls her shoulder up and stands up, okay? So this is how I'm gonna do it. All right, let me see here. So I actually come in over here, grab this arm, and go. Straight up. Okay? And now my whole body weight is kind of on her through. And what you really want to do is, at home, you're going to just love down. Okay. You want to keep her down here? So look who can do all the work here. Yeah. They can draw blood. They can do the nails, the pads. Now, maybe we'll do it this way. I'm going to have, I'm going to trade you places. Okay. Now, you don't want to let her get up. Mm -hmm. Okay? So wh which one was the arm that's most important? You want to leave on the table. This one. The shoulder on the table. Once she pulls that up, we got to start all over. Okay? So if you do this position for 10 minutes a day for 30 days, when you come back in, in next time, we will probably the third nail trim, she'll be standing up. I won't have to lay her down no more. Okay. But it's the trust that comes behind it. If someone is still quicking the dog's nails, mm -hmm. it's not going to work. If I lay her down and quick every one of her nails, it's not going to work. She's going to be quick a, a long time. Good, 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 good. Okay, so Dad, do you want to slip in or do you yeah. want to lay her down by herself? Yeah, I'll get it. Okay. She's still running. Body weight here. Body weight. It's okay. There you go. It's okay. And you, yep, there you go. Yep, you let go of the arm. <laughs> okay, start. You, you got it? There you go. Yep, I got it. And, uh, and you're strong. <laughs> so this right here, make sure it's, it's, it's controlling her neck, but not smashing her, you know? Okay. okay? Yeah. And, and don't feel afraid, though. Okay. And then, uh, so I've, you've got this, and I'm kind of doing that. Now, you can, you've got, there you go. So at home that you know what to do. And mom, you can say, Dad, you're not doing it right. Her both all her legs have to be right, right? 
How do you feel? How's your back feel? Good. Good. Great. Still won't be here for 20 minutes, but yeah. No, okay. Uh, should be three minutes as long as I'm done training. So now, don't let her scratch your face. Okay. Okay? Including your eyeballs. Don't let your guard down. Here we go. I'm going to do the pads first everywhere. And while I'm in here, I'm actually going to make sure they're really cleaned out good and there's no mats because we probably haven't gotten in here real good in a while. But I'm just assuming that. I don't know. We just, when we do, we just don't know how to do our pads. Oh, well, sure. I'm afraid I'm going to cut her. So I have a 40 blade. Do you have a, a clipper? Mm -hmm. I got a 40 blade on here. If I dig too hard, it will, it could nick you. Okay. So you're, um, but it's it's able to it's so tight in there like this. Yeah. I can go fast, right? I don't need to be sitting here for 20 minutes doing other feet. This is what we do. Boom, boom, boom. So we real take fast. Our time. So dogs have so much window of patience, and it, once she starts really like I'm tired, I'm tired. She starts to get like more anxious. Yeah. Okay. Try to pull her nail in her ear here. Yep. Just in right in this position, we will. Because if this, no one has been able to do it, I'm, we're gonna be, I want to help you guys get it done. At least the big chunky stuff so you can access the ear and be cleaning it, okay? And keeping it clean and maybe doing a solution to keep the ear infection really well. What do you think? Is that okay? Yeah. Oh, great. So if I had a tin blade, then it's really hard to actually get all this gunky stuff, this mat here. Let me know. We have whatever the Andis blade comes with. Yep, uh, the Andis clippers. Yeah. Yeah, tin. So if you want a 40, it's, you can see how radical and fast it is. But you only use it in that area. Very rarely do I use it right up against the eyeball. Back ones I can actually see right where the vein's at, so there's not a lot to take off. Doing great, you guys. See that black dot right? Like that's the vein. So, so it seems like you guys are getting the nails done very regularly. The vet does them. Yeah, they look good. And we try to let it run around on concrete. Yeah, I could tell the back one for sure. Good job. Make sure there's no dew claws. Okay, good. All right, so stay there. Here we come with the ears. I'm going to use some ear powder. It's not necessary to use the ear powder. It's just going to help me really grasp any past the oil and stuff. So, Mom, I'm going to have you. Let's see. Yep, there you go. The energy is really good with all of you, so good job on that. Okay, be ready here. Be ready for like trying to oh, yeah. freak out. Come on, your powder. Your powder is not doing anything but helping me grip it, okay? Watch your face, everybody. Do you think it's necessary to do the ear hair? Do I? Yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah, okay. I get it a lot where people are like, I can't believe you did that. You're traumatizing the dog. Okay, no. no this is, look how nasty this yeah, is. Okay. I think all the infections are why she's going down. Right, right. Okay, so. Oh, we're going to see. Come down pretty easily. Yeah, just a little by little, though. Don't do, I, I, that's how I do it. A lot of people, some people do it, big chunks. Just do little by little. And you can smell it. Can you smell it? Yeah. Yeah, I got a mask on, so I can't, but you can definitely smell the infection here. <laughs> She's doing good. She's doing good. Some dogs actually hold their breath. And you can see I'm really focusing not what's outside the ear, but what's in the ear. All this other stuff, who cares? Okay, what's in the ear canal is really what I'm trying to focus on. You can see how gunky it is. Yeah, that's gross. Very. And so I can tell you, because this is what I do for a living, but this ear canal is very swollen. All right, it should be really, especially a schnauzer, should be really big and open in there. It's not. So while I'm here, stay steady. You guys get first hand. 
Cleaner. On top. So since the ear is, I'm going to do this ear cleaner here, but I'm going to just take out, I'm going to do little by little here. And I'll, t I'll brief you guys on if you need solutions and stuff, how to do it. Um, you may already have some from your veterinarian, I'll just tell you how to best use that. So there's a crevice back. If you could do this at home, you may need a muzzle, okay? Um, but you can see, just get that out of the way and then you're gonna flush, okay? And I sell, like I train a lot of people across the world. So if you need anything like these hemostats to help you, it doesn't, it's not that hard, right? Mm -hmm. It's just you need that someone holding and you need to, to have the time to do it. But right here, you're just gonna go, there's a little lip right here. And I'm not going to do this for like 20 minutes. I'm just going to get what I can out. We're going to flush her ears, and then we're going to do it again tonight. And you do that for 30 days. The ears will look dr dr drastically different. We just did a lab the other day. Three days later, she goes, Dee, oh, my gosh, the ears have never been that unswollen. The solution's working great. So it just depends on the animal, but it'll start looking really good. Looks better already, doesn't it? Yeah, I've never, actually, I've never actually seen the inside of her ear. Yeah. Well, we are now. <laughs> okay, so I'm not going to save all that, but we are going to do a flip. Okay, so have her stand up. She did stand up. She did great. Yeah. Yeah, you did great. So dad's going to come over here and do the same thing. Okay. So, yep, yep, that's it. That's it. Yes, yes. Then go fast. Now it's fast. And then down on the head. Down on the head. Head. Oh, yep, there you go. There you go. Yay! Okay. See how smooth that one? Kind of. She's like, kind of, Shut up. <laughs> we'll get there. You're not hurting her. You're not hurting her. Shoulder down. Yep, there you go. Mom's fixing it. Love this, man. If you guys did this every day, her ears would look better in 10 days. But don't stop. Do it for 30. You're really doing good. She's not even twitching. No. But I know it hurts because earlier she really let me know, right, Mom? She's yeah. always very ears in her butt. Ears in the butt. Not bad on the nails either. I'm impressed. Get my pad. Can you get my ear pad right there, please? So we still got to do the top of the paws, I guess, huh? Say again? Still have to do the top of the paws. Eh, yes. We do, we do, we have to do a wrap up after the bath, so. What are you thinking, Dad? She's fine. <laughs> we'll do this every day. Easy, right? Yeah. This is way more gunky. Where are your loose? So I'm not digging down hard. I'm just digging. There's a couple flaps. You just want, before you flush the ear canal, you don't want to flush this into the ear, right? Yeah. So just remove just what you can see here. That solution will actually break up even more debris down in the ear canal and you're going to remove it like tonight you're going to remove it again. We'll do ear flushing today and I'll include it in just what you guys are going to pay in general. So you can see how to do it and then decide how you want to go about it. You can definitely just go right back to the vet and get whatever you need to. There's some options for you. But this way at least you know how to tackle it at home. If I was seeing like the redness of the ear come out and even bloodiness, you would stop, okay? Mm -hmm. And then you would do it again later, but just give the ear a resting period. But I'm not seeing that. I am seeing dry, flaky, which is why I'm still kind of re revisiting this little spot right here. See all this a bit more so when you guys go in there it's not going to be like you have to 
do so much. I've really taken care of it, you know, a lot of the gunky stuff. See how that's not in the ear? Don't worry about pulling it out. You know what I mean? If it's yeah. just around the ear. You guys, now you can stand her up. Okay. All right, we're going to go to the bath and we'll be back. Okay. So we're not going to do a blow dry. She's a little bit of a senior, and so I'm just going to be nice. I'm going to put this on there, okay? She let me pick her up, and we did a great bath. I'm going to do some sensitive cleanup stuff, so she might not like it. And I'll just be careful. But she's she actually let me carry her, so I have to a little bit of trust there, so I like that. Felt good about that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They're all the worst parts over, girl. We're gonna have some of these curls dry up and we'll be good. Is redder than normal. Back Did you there. see? Yeah. Did you happen to put any front line or anything on recently? No, we do the, the pills. Yeah, if you step out, you can kind of really see it now. Uh, it does look like a bunch of fl little tiny bumps, like a flare, just like a hot spot. Um, yeah, I do some, personally, I do some neoform and uh, watch it for a few days. And you'll be able to see it now, de definitely with the shorter hair, too. It's only this little tiny spot, too. Look at this sore right here. And it's definitely puffy too. Okay. So I'll try not to keep agitating it here. And we'll see. Is she on the leash or a collar? Um, right there. Collar. Okay, so sometimes it might be the harness. Mm -hmm. You know, rubbing back and she's not on harness, so. I don't really know what that's from. No fleas and stuff, so I mean, it's not bad. She is very allergic to fleas. Though. Really? If one even... Big breakout? Yeah. So maybe she just had one that jumped off. Hopefully not because usually we'll see some remnants. We didn't see anything. Okay, let's see how you do with cleaning your feet up here. Okay, let's just see what we can get here. Very well. Very well. Personal here. Let me see. Let me just brush that up forward so I can get it in there. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I gotcha. Go forward. <laughs> Go forward. Don't be falling off the table now. Shivering, you're okay. You're okay. You're the drama queen. Mom says she is so smart. Yeah. She learns stuff fast. Just a little sense of 
sensitivity is off. Mm -hmm. I'm good, Mom. You're doing really good. You're doing really good. Okay. I'm going to get my ear shield here. I'm going to do the ears now. I'm going to sweep this off in case you have to get closer. I'm hoping she would have a little bit of trust from what we did with the ears. Okay. David, I'm going to have him get that. Okay. It's just sweeping. Come on, it's just sweeping here. Kind of, but we're going to try to get back in there. I saw some of those. Let me see. Can I see this one? Let me see this one. I'm going to trick you. You're okay. After all we've been through. Huh? You're okay. You're okay. Okay, Mom. I'm going to have you go to that side of her. And you're just going to just assist her. I'm going to actually just trim her ears. I'm going to see how she does with that. Okay, don't bite me. Okay? Don't bite me. We're just going to trim your ears here. Watch you and your eyeballs and mine. I'm just going to trim these feathers here. Okay, don't get mad. Don't get mad. We already did the tough stuff. Yeah, I know. Let me see here. Don't get mad. I just got to get it loose here. Okay. You're okay. You're okay. All right, don't get mad at me. So good. That's doing so good. a different dog already. Can you tell mom? Oh yeah. I'm more nervous I think. I'm just waiting for that jump but I do feel that there's a change. Like you do. <laughs> okay now let's take a look at what we're going to do with the rest of your face and if there's anything else to do we're going to take the muzzle off or work on that. Um, let me think here. We will have to put the muzzle on one more time when I flush her ears okay. <clears throat> see what your face is doing. I need to take more off or what? Can I see in here? I think a lot of the worry is gone now. Yeah. Her worry. You got it. That looks beautiful. Oh yeah, maybe even some relief in the ears. Yeah. good. Is that a skin tag near the eye there? Not yeah. a booger, right? Okay. Yeah. Okay. No, the doctor said, digging that baby out. <laughs> yeah, he said, just leave it. It's yep, fine. I would just leave it. I had one removed on my Shih Tzu. I wish I'd never touched it. He never blinked the same. And I was in the industry, so I was like, oh yeah, let's just remove it. You know, I worked for a veterinarian at the time. Oh yeah, you don't just remove a bunch of skin tags. You know, sometimes they're, they're not 
If it's not broken, don't fix it, you know. Okay, I'm going to come down and take some of this off and come leave this mustache here. Is that cool? Yeah. I'd like to take a little bit of length off of it. Okay, you got it. It doesn't get so dirty. Okay, I'll do that. So. You're kind of in and kind of out of the picture, so it's not just telling all you, you know, I'll kind of watch you on that. I'm not in there. I'm not in there. I'm not messing with your ear. It's just your neck here. I'm fine. You can shake all you want. You can shake all you want. Yeah. You can shake. Guard reverse on the chin, maybe sideways down to here. I'll just go straight down then. Okay, stay there for me one second. Back on video. Okay, so we're just about done, Mom. What do you think? Beautiful. Are you happy? Little German supermodel. <laughs> so talk to the camera if you want. Um, you, I gave her a hug, you guys. I mean, she had <laughs> tears in her eyes during the bath. And um, tell, what, why? It, it's just, it's, it's been so long. It's been like a year and a half of not being able to get her groomed. So it's, I, she's done amazingly well. And, and thank you. So awesome. So if you know someone that needs my help, will you please tell them so we can do the right thing for the dog and uh, non-painful yeah, grooming, no nicks, no injury, so uh, no quicking, you know. And you, and you know some of these things that have made her who she is now is because of tra some trauma that happened. Yeah. A nail quick, right, things like that. So big story. I don't want her to start crying. I'm going to go <laughs> give her a hug, so. Ah, thank you so much for finding me. I'm so happy. No, thank you for so providing happy. the service. It's and then you found me from? Um, actually, we were kicked out of another grooming salon, and they recommended you. Nice, so, here yeah. locally. Yes. So thank you. Thank you guys for referring to me. I appreciate you, and uh, thank you. Thank you so much. Hey, you guys. Make sure. Oh my goodness, it's been a long day. Uh, I wasn't, I love how the fact I'll be like, I'm not going to record today, and then I record every video. <laughs> Cause sometimes I just want to break, man. I want to be able to just focus and groom and move fast. And but it, we had a lot of time today in between grooming, uh, not a lot, but just it wasn't as okay. I take that back. We did. We went back to back. Um, this is going to be. I'm going to try to do the breakdown of this video so you can break it down. David can break it down and put it on the tail end of some of the grooms that we just did. So Lucy, they found me from another groomer. Thank you, other groomers out there in Texas that send over the aggressive dogs aggressive mean even the dad says she's not aggressive and I'm like yeah but my face came close to her biting it and she, it, I call any dog that's gonna bite me aggressive unfortunately that's just the way I call it okay there's no other way to call it you can't say my dog is sweet but she will bite you there, it's just your dog is gonna bite or it doesn't bite and uh, we can go back on that to other videos but that's just how I standardize the type of discussion when I work with animals. Your dog is either gonna bite me or it's not gonna bite me because all dogs don't bite. All dogs can bite, but all dogs don't bite for grooming. So in, in, this, in this situation, Lucy actually tried to bite me a couple times or you know, like 
when they lunge and want to almost hit you, get you, you know, like it's very fast. You don't have time to really react. That's why I went ahead and muzzled her. But I just think some of the things that she had gone through has put her, my hair is all over the place, isn't it? Even the mom, like the mom just really teared up during the bath and I said, you got to tell YouTube, right? Because uh, some of the things you guys don't know or see out there is emotion, right? Um, so the mom, so I've ha had a very uh, co intimate connection on a, like a sisterly level with this lady. Um, just, I just felt her love for the animal. I just felt her concern. I felt the pain that she has seen her dog go through. And I felt like, wow, you know, I just stopped and gave her a hug and she had tears in her eyes. And she's like, thank you so much, Dee Dee. I'm so glad we found you. And I said, well, why? you know, like, why, you know? And she's like, cause we haven't been able to groom her in over a year, year and a half or something like that. And I'm like, wow. So I started talking to her about the story behind it. And she told me they had just, they had moved from Louisiana. And in, when they were in Louisiana, that's kind of, where she really noticed the dog was not able to let people groom her anymore. Things have happened, you know, she'll be in a, she's like three hours in, she had to go pick up her pet. And I'm like, wow, the dog was there three hours? Well, that's part of it on an older dog, but another part of it is, and I said, did you notice when it was, I asked all these questions, right? Did you notice when it started happening? Could you, could you tell when it was happening? She goes, definitely things that happened made it to where it was like the dog re now is this way. So the first time, she was ever groomed the dog was nicked on the vein in the toenail pretty bad the lady told her about it and she said it's fine and i said yeah it, it can happen but that trauma prevented nail trimming to be done anymore like it was really a difficult task okay so the, who knows what else has happened and for those of you who don't like the, right now there's no dogs in the salon for her we had a private groom the parent assisted and in certain situations that's just something Sammy was here. <laughs> Someone wrote on my board. I'm like, who's Sammy? <laughs> oh my goodness, I'm laughing. Okay, I'll have to go back and look at that later. Okay, so anyways, um, look, I'm telling you guys, someone wrote on my board up there. Sammy was here <laughs> with a paw print. <laughs> okay, random, weird. That's my board, man. Who's up in here stalking? I'm just kidding. All right, so that's Lucy. I'm really glad she came to me. I, I'm really grateful to those that refer to me. Um, it is a difficult, you, all groomers are not able to do it because they're running a business. They have five to six groomers, maybe more. They are doing dogs, you know, every two to three hours to turn around, whatever the situation is. They have bathers, they are running a business. And so if, uh, if you have a dog like this, find someone who can could quiet down the salon for you or ask, okay? Cause I'm not in every state, not yet. <laughs> Uh, so ask, call around and ask specific questions. All right. Thanks a lot. And uh, Lucy's parents were wonderful. Dad did woo, awesome on the hold. And they're going to do that hold every day as they start doing the treatment on the ears. They bought the treatment stuff. Uh, my treatment, Dee Dee's treatment on the ears. So they're going to clean and flush the ears daily until they start. And we could see immediate satisfaction in the ears. The ears look great. We did the flushing here before they left. I was just, it was amazing. So thanks for watching. Thanks for supporting us. Get your ear cleaner kits. They're on our website, myfavoritegroomer.com slash shop. You can email me through the website. You can email me at dd underscore grooms at yahoo.com. D-E-D-E, -D -E, that is. Underscore grooms at yahoo.com. I will do my best to get back to you within about three to five days, um, if not sooner. Just understand, just try to keep it in one place. A lot of people write me in all different avenues and go back and forth. So just try to keep it in one platform. If you're going to email, stick with email. If you're going to Facebook, stick with Facebook so I can make sure I get your message completely. All right. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you and woo, what a groom.